Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hello there, I'm DJ, and this is War of the Visions, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, and this is going to be a two-headed dragon raid video, if you couldn't tell. Um, but yeah, a lot of people have been asking me what my team comp is, I just do solo auto, and my team's not ideal. Um, this is what I roll with for my solo auto team. And yeah, we got Venera Stern, Ruin Knight Stern, and Gafgarian. Uh, a lot of this stuff is not maxed out, like this ribbon's not... He's got Rain Sword on, this Mage Masher is like plus three, I think. Uh, Two-Headed Dragon's not maxed, whatever. It's, uh, I would say the, I don't know. We got the re-raise thing on Gafgarian there, it's interesting. Nothing is crazy about this though. Old Doa for Stern, TMR, and Bells on Ruin Knight Stern. Uh, basically, I can kill this like 50% of the time, roughly without using an orb at all. So, that's cool. It's not ideal. You obviously, if you could get every kill to be orbless, that would be the greatest, but I haven't been able to set up an auto team that can do that. But, um, yeah, a lot of this is completely dependent on if this stupid dragon wants to counterattack me every attack, or, you know, be a little bit lenient. We can survive a couple of those counterattacks, but if he starts getting too crazy with it, then, uh, like that, there was one right there. Luckily, uh, he evaded it, so. So far, it's going all right, but we'll see. It depends how many times, like I said, this counter goes off. Oh, and there it is. We got, we got hit by that one. No evading there. We can probably survive one more, so. Hopefully, if he does it again, it's towards the end, and we'll be good to go. But otherwise, I don't know, we'll see. You guys will see it play out. But yeah, like I said, uh, at, well, yeah, out of about 10 dragon fights, if I build up 10, it's usually, sometimes I'll get through and I'll still have like two or three orbs left, and sometimes it will take all five of my orbs. But, as you can see, it's possible, uh, we'll go right into another one and see how that goes. But, um... Yeah, it's nice, and at the very worst, it's one orb per run, and I think for auto, and for somebody that's not on the top of the leaderboards or anything like that, that's pretty good. This way I can, you know, I can run these while I'm doing other things, I don't, if I, if I don't have the time to uh, give the game my full attention, or whatever the case is, we'll see. How many dragons do I have left? I don't know, but... We have at least one orb, so we shall see. And how about that Dwayne news, huh? Earlier today, uh, they dropped the news. We're getting Dwayne, 100 cost unit. But he's looking, especially for team comps like this, he's looking mighty spicy. I'm not going to lie. What do you guys think about Dwayne? Are you guys going to pull for him, or is he an easy skip because of the double cost, or what? He's looking mighty spicy to me, like I said, like, ugh. I don't know. He's got a, I mean, we'll have to wait until he actually comes out so we can see his stats and stuff, but so far he sounds insane. Hopefully, they have a lot of ways to gain his shards, because otherwise it's gonna be a little on the dirty side. But, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can... Well, we're, we're getting pretty lucky here with counterattacks. I don't want to jinx it, but... I might have to go unlock more dragons after this. Still gonna have an orb left. Also, we have a space in our guild if anyone out there in uh, War of the Visions land that's watching this is looking for a guild or anything like that. Yo, join, um, join my Discord. It'll be in the description. Um, not only, even if you don't want to join the guild, the Discord is awesome because we share raids in there, we'll, sh we'll share flaunts, um, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, it's just a cool place to hang out for the game. I mean, I, I do play a lot of games, so I have a lot of different games going on in there, but the War of the Visions community in there is very strong. And, uh, we've already been discussing Dwayne in there today and stuff like that, so, I don't know. I think the Dwayne thing is weird because we've had so many limited characters almost back to back to back so far. Yeah, I'm gonna spawn another dragon if I can. 
run a a one orb luck streak, I guess. Let's see. I'm just gonna use a skip ticket on something. I don't even know what this party is right here, so. Give me a dragon. Feed me more. Because I want to show you guys if I fail one, uh, what it's like and how I go about doing that. I didn't expect to win them both in a row, you know? Man, I, like I said, I do no orbit a lot. And it's nice. It is really nice to not have to manual and all that jazz. But I still, you know. I just want to show that if you do fail, it still only costs one orb to go, which I guess I don't have to show that. You can probably figure it out just by watching or seeing, like, the damage dealt or whatever. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. So, yeah. I, there's definitely some improvements I could make to this team. Like, I don't think any of these characters I have maxed out any of their job levels. They're all at least level 12 in all their jobs. But I think... Out of this entire team comp right here, I think only about two jobs are level 15. I have Venera's main job at 15 and Ruin Knight Stern's main ass. job at 15. Pretty much everything else across the board is 12. The reason I don't like fully commit to like uh, Stern or Gafgarian and leveling their stuff like that is because I always feel that they're just like right around the corner from being replaced. And I'm like, well, I don't want to invest all this time and resources into maxing them out if I'm just going to replace them soon. But so far, I'm still using, like, Stern, regular Stern, was my second UR maxed at LB5 ever. And, um, yeah, I think Frederica was my first. But I've still been using him pretty strong ever since. And it's just been, uh, oh, I thought he was going to counter there. Damn, we're not getting many crits, so maybe this will be, uh... Oh, I think we're still going to win this one. Man, I'm trying to fail one, man! Alright, well, you know what? I'm just going to call it at that one uh, for the video. But, yeah, so anyways, if I was to fail there, like, say I died or whatever, then we just come back in. It costs one orb, um, but I did, you know, three good ones in a row, so. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. That's, that's This is how I've been farming the entire uh, raid. With the exception to Flans, you know, I do multis for Flans just because I feel like it's a waste if I was to just solo my Flans and, you know, when you could bring in so many other people to get all that extra currency and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's my team. It's nothing insane, but it's also, you know, it's a little bit whaley. Ruin Knight Stern. You know, I never bought his, uh, shards for double price, though. Um... I got, you know, I ran his hard quest every day. I did get him from select tickets a couple times, which those are paid viz only. So that does make it a little bit whaley, I guess. And other than that, I don't know, but I never one single time paid the normal double price cost for him. So I didn't like completely whale out for him. Uh, and these others I just got over time. I didn't, you know, they're not whaley units by any means. Now this is a limited card, honestly though, you can run this raid. You don't even need this. I just put it on because I have this and I feel like I need to use it because I went out of my way to get it, right? But Echoing Screams works perfectly fine in this slot or so does um, probably Igon's card. I don't have that one maxed out or anything, but I assume it would work just as well because I actually was using Echo Echoing Screams with this comp before and I swapped this in. I was actually hoping Gafgarian would use uh, Triple Trick, maybe? in hopes to raise the chain, but he never uses it on auto, so whatever. It's fine though, because he still hits like a truck. And that's one of the crazy cool things about Gafgarian. For, the guy's a free unit, and this dude hits like an absolute truck still to this day. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, I know I usually only do pull videos, but a lot of people have been asking me about my team comp for this raid. So I really just wanted to get this out there and share it with you guys. I know the raid's almost over. We got like two days left, I think, of it, if uh, you're watching this when I post it. But, uh, wow, actually, look how close I am to ranking up. I think dailies might actually hit that rank up. But anyways, so Dwayne's coming out this week. I'm going to pull for him. Uh, if you guys are looking for a guild, join my Discord. Hit me up, send me a DM, or just post in the War of the Visions channel in there. 
Or if you want to just hang out in the Discord, uh, you know, it's a really active community. We have a lot of people in there who just hang out, share raids. Uh, we help each other with raids too. There's people that are still working on getting 100 and we jump in those raids. We have a lot of people that are willing to help. Um, and yeah, pretty much, I don't know. That's that's all. See, look, this is how unoptimized this team is though. Like, may oh, it's plus four actually. I thought it was only plus three. Uh, this isn't maxed out either. Nothing is maxed on here. It's only plus four and this stuff. The evade's not maxed. I'm one ribbon recipe short of making a plus five, and I'm pretty salty about that. Uh, I did actually max Diablos. I didn't have this maxed out until yesterday. I finally maxed it out. I was just short eggs. So now I'm completely out of leveling eggs again. Anyways, I'm going to stop blabbing. You guys are probably like, yo, we already saw you in action. Shut up already. Um, but yeah, anyways... Take it easy, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and have a great day. Good luck in your raids, and we'll see you in Discord or maybe in the Twitch stream at some point in time. Alright dudes, see you later. Bye.